Welcome, I am Dr. Sandhu from Business Management and Research Channel. In this video lecture, you will learn how to create a B2B marketing campaign. B2B business to business marketing differs from direct marketing. In direct marketing, main focus is towards selling products and services directly to other businesses. But there is a need to understand more about B2B campaign and how to develop a marketing strategy for your business. What exactly is business to business marketing? If you are a company, you are probably familiar with the term B2B, which stands for business to business marketing. B2B sales refers to the exchange of goods and services between a business and a third party such as startup, small business or large corporation. If a company has a product or service that they believe will only be of the interest to other businesses like uh, cloud-based software or printing services they may choose to focus solely on B2B marketing. Here comes B2B marketing strategy. How to set that? What you need to know? Creating an effective B2B marketing campaign can be as simple as stated in upcoming lecture. Number one, define your target audience. Where would you like to hit and where would you like to sell the product? So number one is define your target market and audience. The key to any successful B2B marketing strategy is to properly define your target audience. Properly define means you have to set geographical location, psychographic and uh, by following the segmentation principles of uh, marketing. Make a list of the businesses that could benefit from your product or service as well as their specific need point. Very important point is that you have to understand need of your target audience. If you are able to understand the need, then you can sell your product easily. Your marketing effort should be shaped by answers to these questions. In the next slide, what would make them want to purchase your product? What target audience is thinking? Why they will uh, prefer to purchase your product? What would their primary concern be? What is the concern of your audience? What they are looking? For example, in winter season or in summer season, if we will talk about Pakistan, uh, electricity problem sometimes arises. So there are different gadgets available with the battery operated items or solar power items. So you have to understand the need of your audience. What's your CTA call to action? What kind of action you would like to uh, present to your audience? You might also want to make a list of specific businesses that might be good potential customer. You have to identify the businesses that that person sitting in some place like in Liberty or Shami or any other point. So you will hit that person that I have solar panels and there is a person sitting in the market and you will sell directly to him as a b2b campaign it may help you to raise your profit or revenue number two determine the channels you will use it is very important for example code calling is a method inbound landing pages then email marketing whether you would like to use email marketing to reach to your target audience then podcasts social media platforms, influencer marketing, trade shows, search engine optimization, messaging, testimonials, business conferences, direct mail, webinars and sponsorships are just a few of the physical and digital marketing channels that are available for B2B marketing. So by using these channels, you can reach to your target customer or target audience. You have to decide which marketing channel will be the most visible. I have mentioned different channels. You have to select one, two, three or four, which are most effective for certain market. 
I will repeat it again. Decide which marketing channel will be the most visible to key stakeholders in your demographic, in your demographic area, who make purchase decision, keeping your target audience in mind. This is very important that which one is giving you or can give you the best result to reach the target audience so that they will be able to take the scene or the purchase. You might want to go with pure social media marketing, basic online marketing, in-person marketing, depending upon your field. Number three, make a list of the most important selling point means your competitiveness, your competitive advantage, your uniqueness. Once you know who your target audience is and how you can best reach them. So you have to write your content because the next person will read your content. And if it is easily understandable, definitely you will be getting a response. But if you have developed a content which is not easily understandable, it will create difficulty in the minds of the audience and result will not be as per required. Outline, develop outline your main selling points. But so these are my main uh, competitive points for which I will start my business. Boost employee morale. It is important. If your team is geared, encouraged, you will get the result. But if your team is mentally and physically not supporting you, the result will not be as per the requirement. Improve customer satisfaction by responding to the inquiries. If there is certain inquiry, you have to reply back and customer will uh, be more satisfied. All these things will lead towards increase in sales. To be as specific as possible, use numbers, means data. Like you have to go through the case studies, uh, infographics and any other statistics and details. Business want to know what your product or service can help them to grow their operations in the longer run. You are a company, another is a company. So there is a support of data and statistics. You will do some analysis and you will be able to see the trends in future and this actually your partner would like to see as well number four make your content unique content should be unique whatever thing you have developed it should represent your product your service your dedication your z it's time to craft your content once you have decided what you want to say create copy and visuals that are appealing you will write something you must show with pictures. It should be professional and persuasive to your target audience. So it's, we are talking about content. Like you are selling solar panels, uh, mention the solar panels that these are the solar panels which are available from your site. Consider your distribution channels and tailor your content for them. Social media is better for short form visual content. We know that. Whereas blog posts can be more text heavy. Well, like in blog, you will write detail pros and cons of your product pros and cons of how to use it okay so you can give complete detail in blog post but in social media you will just show the visuals or video like that so select wisely the content marketing institute said that 42 percent of uh, tech marketers their company has a documented content marketing strategy no there is a point that whatever you are doing it should be documented Without documentation, you are unable to monitor and control. Number five, put your campaign into action. Now you have decided the channel, the content, the visuals and everything. What I have mentioned in last four points. Now start your campaign. Put your campaign into action. It's time to put your marketing campaign into action after you have created and designed it. Once you are ready, start distributing your material to your channels. Whether that means making cold calls or putting up flyers in high traffic places. Like you have developed flyers. So just to distribute flyers or just give them calls. Calls to your customer that we are ready and we are with new product. And uh, we have uh, sold you this product. Now you will get this one. Now you have to inform your customers that uh, you are ready for another product. Keep an eye on data. Very important. All the activity has been done. Now you have to observe the data that where it is going. Keep an eye on the figures as your company goes on. What channel, for example, generates the most calls? 
I have mentioned number of channels. What channel is giving you more response? You have to analyze and you have to mark. This data will allow you to fine tune or divert your current marketing matrix and create even more productive campaigns in the future. So the data is in front of you. Graphs are in front of you. Graphs will explain you that uh, your growth is uh, on a positive side or negative side. If it is negative, then you will uh, reevaluate and uh, realign and go for some fresh ideas. Uh, so it is helpful for you. But here you must uh, remember that it is possible that your marketing effort won't generate a lot of leads or boost conversion rates right away. In the beginning, uh, I will be on 100% speed, not possible. So at this stage, uh, you can have a lot of leads. A conversion rate may be low at this point, but if you will continue your effort, finally time will come that uh, your leads will increase or an early campaign can sometimes merely raise brand recognition. Important point, brand recognition. Okay, so all this activity in the early stage of your business will result into brand recognition, which is the first step or initial step in the business process. I think uh, I have explained well and you have picked well. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe it. Best of luck.